Hey guys, we are going to go over how to create a an advertising squeeze page on conversion on your website so that you can use it on Google, you can use it on uh, Facebook, Instagram, any other social media channel that you would like to do so. First thing you need to do is you need to go to conversion.com forward slash new agent, log in with your I think Realty email and your password. And then once you access your dashboard, which give me a second, once you access this dashboard, you're going to go to the left hand side menu. You're going to go down to lead generation. You're going to have several um, different uh, options, but we're going to click on the first one, squeeze pages. And there are two types. The one that we are going to work on, which will give you uh, multiple properties and one that is called a single squeeze page that will give you only one property. So um, without further ado, this is what you will see. As you can see, I have nothing here. I've deleted all the ones I had. So we're going to start fresh. Uh, first thing you need to do is right here, buyer seller squeeze page builder. We are going to name this one and let's call this one uh, Winter Haven Homes for Sale. And let's say we're we are going to use this one on Facebook, Google, uh, and Instagram. So we're going to call that. We just want to make sure that you you keep track of where you're spending your money, where you are advertising, to be able to track what the returns, the leads come from. That way you can enhance or do more of the things that are working and eliminate those things that do not work. The next thing you want to do is you want to apply a hashtag because you again you want to know where are these leads coming from? Are they coming from this page for that page? You know you want to be able to track your results. So hashtag this one. What do we do? We're going to do wh homes for sale okay the area you're going to click winter haven and you're going to wait for this menu down here to pop up just give it a second it takes a little bit sometimes uh, for it to pop up if you don't click on this drop down menu it's not going to work there you go. So we're going to click right there, City of Winnehaven. We're going to, um, you're going to pick the type of listing you're looking for. If you're selling condos or mobile homes or land, you can change the single family for that. But in this case, we're going to leave it as single family. I would suggest you leave the price uh, open so that you can attract the majority of buyers out there. Uh, same thing with bedrooms and bathrooms. Options. This is one that you can really refine who you're targeting in your, in your advertising. You could go for just listed, walkable, fixer upper. Any of these uh, options, once you put them in there, are going to narrow the type of homes that people can find in your search. Uh, I'm creating this squeeze page for a more general search, so we're going to leave that open as well. Um, we're going to use the listings from search results, so leave it at the default. And then this one is important because this one basically says how many properties can a, a prospect can view on your website before they are asked to register, to give you information, okay? Um, a lot of people make it on the first property. It turns off people and they will just back away from your website and go somewhere else, okay? So I would say that for me, a happy medium would be three properties, so I believe it at three. And that's really all you have to do. Once you do this, you hit build link. It takes, you know, a minute or so. Once it comes back, you're going to see this long link right here that has a total of 304 properties for sale in Winter Haven. Okay, and this is how you build the, the um, squeeze page. Uh, what does it look like? You know, uh, you, all you have to do is oh, you highlight this and click go to that website and you will be able to see once you click on that URL, you're going to be able to see this page. And this page is going to be branded to you. Obviously, this one's branded to me, so it'll have my, my phone number, it'll have my picture, it'll have my contact information. But in your case, whenever anybody clicks on these properties, they will get your information uh, for as a contact. Okay, and this you can use on Google, you can use on Facebook, you can use on Instagram, you can use in just a, a, a large amount of different websites to um, 
brand yourself and to have people look at your website and go to your website. So anyway, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, there's no difference with a major corporation or major real estate office. I mean, we have the technology, you guys might as well use it. Um, anyway, um, that's it guys. I mean, uh, there's another video that I will make about how to use a squeeze page and how to use it to advertise yourselves. And I'll go over Facebook, I'll go over Instagram and I will go over Google. But for now, that's it. I hope this um, helps you out. Uh, another important thing to remember is you have unlimited pages of these to make. So I would encourage you to go in there and start playing. You know, if you want to farm a neighborhood, if you want to farm a city, you know, do whatever it is, start playing with this, create squeeze pages, make sure that they are what you want. And then, you know, you can delete, you can create some more. There's not a limit of how many of these you can make. So I encourage you to go out there and get it done. Thank you.